our cosplay tip from the Travel Butterfly. Okay, now, tip number two. <laughs> um, when you know who it is you're going to be cosplaying as, the next best step, in my opinion, is to start collecting reference pictures. These are crucial because it's basically the blueprint, okay, the guideline of what you have to do to make this costume. I personally like to collect as many pictures of the character as I possibly can get my hands on. And uh, what I do, because I can use Photoshop, I know some people don't know how to use Photoshop, but what I like to do is I'll take those pictures into Photoshop and I will, you know, put them together and then next to the everything I will make points. Uh, this detail about the dress, this detail about this. I mean, that's what I do. You don't have to do it my way, but I, I do really strongly suggest that you guys um, find as many, find as many pictures of the character as you possibly can. They will help you so much because the whole thing about cosplay is you're trying to recreate this character on yourself as best you can. So whatever attention to detail you can master, try. It'll, it'll help so much in the end. So yeah, that's step number two, finding reference pictures. I'll show you some examples of some of my um, reference blueprints that I've done throughout the years. This one was for my Miwichigo costume. As you can see, I took a picture of Miwichigo where they showed um, her entire outfit and I made points on as much of the costume as I possibly could to figure out the details of the costume, um, the colors that I needed to buy in my fabric, maybe even the kind of fabric that I would want to purchase, um, things for the accessories. I basically just took really detailed notes of as much of the costume as I possibly could so that when I actually made my costume, I would make sure to not leave anything out. Here's the blueprint for my Piffle costume. Same exact thing. I took notice of how short things were, how long things were, um, colors, materials that I would need to use. Pretty much I tried to make my, my blueprint as detailed as possible because this is what I'm going to have to look back and refer to when I'm in the stores buying the materials and when I'm sitting at home by my sewing machine making everything. Even for costumes that I've designed myself, I do these blueprints for. This is for my sexy no jitsu gara costume. This is something that I drew, something that I came up with and designed myself, but that didn't stop me from making the blueprint. The blueprint was really, really helpful when I went to the store and I bought my material and I bought um, the, 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 the paints and I bought the sparkles. Everything that I needed, I knew what I needed and nothing was left out because I had my blueprints and I just went by them. I'll even go so far as to write down how much material I think I'm going to need. Here's my blueprint for my candy cosplay. I couldn't get all of her in one photo, so what I do, I took as many photos as I could, made my blueprints off of that. With my candy costume, I actually got very, very lucky because knowing the people from Dragon Mangle, they were able to provide me with a lot of really great photos. So yeah, that's it. That's uh, a really, really good step that I swear by is I will not make a costume unless I first made my blueprint. And yeah, the best way to do it, collect as many photos as you can because sometimes you'll see a character drawn one way and then sometimes you'll see them drawn a slightly different way and you don't know which one to use. So the best way of doing it, try to collect as many photos as you can and then go with whatever you see happening more frequently. So yeah, that's my tip number two for making cosplay is find your reference photos and if you can make a blueprint, do it. Okay, so that's all for me for episode two of Travel Butterfly Tips on Cosplay. Hope you liked it and stay tuned for next time where I talk about, um, I think, choosing a pattern. Okay, talk to you guys later. Bye.